today I'd like to uh, try to finish turning on this project, which uh, is in three parts. The first part is a bowl, and we did the rough turning on that uh, earlier. And uh, then since that time, I've uh, finished turning and sanded this, and got it ready to finish. This project is in three parts. The bowl is the first part. The second part is the pedestal, and that has the uh, Celtic knot in it. And the third part is the base. So I've cut tenons on both ends of the pedestal, and on this end I've glued it into the base. A piece that will be the base. So today I'd like to try to finish turning this, and we're going to try and turn them both together. So we'll try to form this and and uh, probably put a deep cove on the base. So let's get started. So we'll mount this in the four jaw chuck. Bring the tail stock up. Put some pressure on that. Chuck up here so the piece doesn't wander off here and it's going to fly around and, and cause some damage. So we've got it chucked in there, we've got our tailstock locked. Let's see if that's going to turn all right. Looks like it's going to be okay. So we'll bring our tool rest up, we'll set it here. diameter of the taper at the bottom and a smaller diameter at the top. So let's get started here. Get the face shield on. And I think for this we'll begin with a, a half inch bowl gouge.
quite hope to have that uh, waist uh, more pronounced here where the Celtic knot is, but uh, I don't believe it's going to get uh, quite what we want, and so we'll have to settle for that. sand. We'll move out here to the... We want to transform the uh, base. And for this we'll probably try to put a, uh, a fairly a good cold in there and we'll use the half inch bowl gouge. I think that's going to work. Uh, I had hoped that this would be a little thinner at the top. We may try and take just a little more out of here and try to accentuate that uh, center part just a little bit more. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.